He is an edible. Oh man, bulldogging down now. He going down. Got another rod going. Look at that. Said guys, we're on them. Dad gum, another one. All right, guys, I think I got one going on my inside planer board. This is on cut bait. I got a split of everything out here. I got chicken on the uh, port side, perch on the starboard. I'm trying to get my speed adjusted here. Just got started dragging out here. Started a little bit later in the morning. Nice fall day. Good time to be out here. Let's see if we can find some stacked up catfish. Kind of a uh, thing that can happen here in the fall. Baby's getting stacked up especially in some of these coves. They're in here ch chasing bait. Bait's pushing up in here. A lot of plankton stuff they're feeding on. Good fertile water. We've got good stable water. These fish are pulling in here, chasing not only the shad, but also the fish that eat the shad, the bass, crappie, and also uh, some of the white perch. Oh, nice eater size blue right there. Heck yeah. On the old perch, simmer down sassy. Heck yeah, it's a good fish. Real good looking fish right there. Nice blue cat, fall blue cat out here. Beautiful fall weather. Not cold yet, not hot anymore. Let's get it back alive. And like I was saying earlier, I got a uh, mix of bait out here. Cut perch on the starboard side. Nice pieces of fresh perch. These are not frozen. You can use them frozen. I'm lucky I'm able to catch them out here fairly frequently. Hook them through at an angle if you can. See how that goes through kind of at an angle and pull that scale off. That little angle on there will help keep the bait uh, from twisting back onto the hook. Little pro tip. Don't want that happening. Yeah, getting them out here. Uh, like I said, chicken on this side. Been working about equally lately. Uh, I just hate coming out here without some kind of cut bait. Flatheads feeding in the fall. Always a shot at getting some of those. I'm trolling into the wind today. Uh, I've got a 24 volt trolling motor and uh, I've got this new lithium 24 volt battery from Epic, E-P-O-C-H. Putting it through the paces, gonna see how these things perform. This heavier power trolling motor makes trolling into the wind a lot easier. Any of y'all that have watched any of my videos for a long time, I've always drifted with the wind. But with the uh, bigger motor that is on the line and this higher capacity 24 volt lithium battery, we're gonna try try it and see how it works. There's some opportunities, there's some places where it's really an advantage to go that route. This is one of them, pulling back into this uh, cove here and uh, we'll see how it works. Outside planer board on the chicken. I was wondering, I seen it move a minute ago and I was wondering, is that a fish? It is a fish. Good fish too. Knock that planer into gear. Man, I've just barely got set up here and started this pull and it's on. It's a little bit of a wrestling match with the wind, trying to keep the uh, boat at a good speed going into it. Might be better off drifting out of here. It's just, uh, might be at the mercy of the wind as to which way I go. The one thing about pulling into it is you got a little bit more control on uh, where you go. Uh, when you're going with the wind, you're going with the wind. Uh, you have to, oh, that's a good fish. This could be a better fish. Nice, nice, nice. Again, this is a chicken bite. We'll take them any way we can get them. I need to tighten up the screw on that board. The clip is slipping on it. It's not the end of the world. No one thing. I'm gonna get my net over here and ready to go. Monster rod holder net, hydro web. I've got one of these on my skiff. Monster rod holder actually makes a bunch of stuff that's good, including the rod holders I use. That's a good fish. I wish they made that fish. I'd buy it. There he is. Moped him. What a fish, guys. And there goes one right behind it. <laughs> that planter board on the inside just went off. Let me uh, get this in here and deal with that fish. Yeah, guys, I've got one going on the rod behind it. There's one in the teens right there. Good looking blue cat, nice and fat, nice and plump. That one on chicken, last one on cut bait. And we got another one, it looks like it's going off behind it over there. Let's get it back alive. Check on this inside planer. Yep, he's there. See how my boat speed's going, pretty good. We got little gusts of wind. Man, what a bite. Dude, I may have one going on that outside perch bait over there, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I've run a bunch of guy trips recently and the fishing's been good. It's been a very patternable 
pike fishing. Decided to uh, get out on one of these coves. I have not fished. Man, smoking them, smoking them this morning. I can go home right now without another fish and call this a good day. Great fishing. We'll talk a little bit in a minute about what's going on with some of these fish. Why this is happening in the fall, this is an eater. Hey, we're happy to have them. Smaller blue, the future of the fishery right there, guys. They little. Arp, arp. Get him back. Bam, there you go, guys. There's another one, number four, I believe. I can't even keep up with them now. Yeah, small fish, last couple were small. That's all right, we'll take them. Uh, if they're feeding, they're eating, we're gonna stick a hook in them. I love it. Uh, yeah, these fish pull into these coves a lot of times uh, early in the fall like this. You know, like I said, it's not cold yet. It's cool out here today. But it's like, you know, the leaves barely got any change going on with them uh, yet. So it's the time to be out here. And as it gets later into October, uh, you know, later October, leaves start to change. You need a hoodie out here in the morning because it's really chilly. Man, that's when the bite gets really good. The fish will start to disperse some. They will start to back out of some of the super shallow stuff. But when you get a warm day, uh, bait pushes up in there. So will the fish, you know, the fall time, September, October, into November, good time for catching multiple fish. And then, you know, we got the winter coming ahead, which is a whole nother, a whole nother ball game and some really great fishing. Cut bait works great right now. Uh, I, I've got it out here on all my trips. Uh, the guide trips that I'm doing, I'm fishing half of it. But with that said, they're also hitting the chicken. They feed on a lot of mussels this time of the year. Very opportunistic. If they can't chase bait down, they're, they're heating on some mussels, at least where we're at. We got mussels and Asiatic clams here in these waterways, so it's it's what they're feeding on. So let's see if we can stick another one. Guys, I think there's a fish on this rod. That line went real slack. It's a piece of cut bait. I think there's a fish on it. It's really, 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 really slack. And lift slowly, set the hook. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You'll get something like that, that the line will go slack, even when you're drifting and trolling. You know, you'll see it anchored, you'll see it on the bank, but when you're trolling, it goes slack. They hit that bait and are coming right at you. And that's what happened right there. We got this one in the middle of a whole bunch of different rods here. I got stuff all over the place. This one on cut bait. Ooh, he just got bigger. He just grew a little bit. I like when that happens. Andy. 30 pound monofilament. We got some ancient mariner reels. Catch the fever, medium light trolling rod here. Two of these are the uh, medium action catch the fever, big cat fever rods. And my Gomex's power handle. Look at that thing spin. Spins for days. If I didn't have to reel this fish in, it would keep spinning. A little add on I put on these things. Nice, nice, nice. Where's he going? Where's he going? Which way is he gonna go? Is he gonna go to this side? I'm trying to see if he's nettable or not. Oh yeah, he's nettable all right. <laughs> He is nettable. Oh man, he's bulldogging down now. He going down, got another rod going. Look at that. That's it guys, we're on them. We are on them right here. Look at that rod bent. Net up here, good fish. Good fish. Boom, got him in the net. This bite is as good as it gets. Beautiful fish. Ooh, hook fell out of its mouth. Heck yeah. Dude, oh, look at the belly. These things are feeding up like crazy. Look at the gut on that thing. What a fish, what a fish. Let's get it back alive. All right, we gotta check out this rod to see if that fish is on it. It looks like he's swimming to the boat, a long way to the boat, yes. He's past the boat. Oh, this ain't good. He's in front of the boat, this is crazy. That fish got hooked, said, forget this. You ain't reeling me in, I'm gonna swim to the boat and save you the trouble. He's up here in front of the boat. Man, this one's on chicken. What a bite. They don't seem to care what they hit. They are just feeding hot and heavy. Nice, nice. Dad, gum, another one that looks like it's gonna be in the teens. Guys, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. I ain't that good of a liar. This is unreal. Another blue in the teens. Perfect hook set. Oh, he won't make the teens. He's gonna be about 12 pounds. That's all right. That's a good problem. <laughs> what a fish. 
this one actually it's on the chicken side there's a perch head that perch head ain't gone in the water yet that's what it is i can't even keep up with what's going on what a fish man that's a lot of fish in the boat in a hurry some really good fish i know a bunch of you, of you are gonna ask how deep are you fishing well i'm in 20 feet of water back there i was in 25 feet of water we caught fish yesterday morning in 35 feet of water and we finished up yesterday in about six feet of water catching fish the entire way i say all that to say don't get locked up on depth if i can give you a tip for fall fishing don't get locked up on what depth fish are at really early in the fall they're not orienting to depth it really doesn't play a part it's where the bait is and if the bait's deep that's where the fish are going to be but they can be shallow they can be deep they can be in both places at the same time they can be in both places at different times in the same day don't get locked up on depth don't get locked up on bait either shad skipjack bluegill chicken hot dogs for that matter it's gonna catch fish uh you know my favorites honestly i i, I do like any of the the cut bait shad uh perch uh you know if they're legal to use in your area you know white bass crappie great bait uh but the chicken works too chicken's affordable it's easy to access stays on the hook relatively good i know not everybody we always talk about these great baits to use and these cut baits i know not everybody has access to those easily and i understand that that's why i throw out some of these other options the surprising part about some of these other options is just how good and effective they can be as you've seen today and in, in tons of videos so bottom line is don't get preoccupied get out there and fish the time on the water is going to be your greatest equalizer the more you're out there at different times of the day for extended long periods of time the better off you're going to be catching fish this fall oh man we're starting to get some howling wind now and I think I got a fish on this chicken bait. Uh, wind's really starting to rip now. I'm really putting that motor to the test. Uh, like I said, I normally drift with this wind, but today I am pulling into it. That motor's gonna get a workout. That battery's gonna get a workout, but so far it's working. Small fish, small blue, small blue. We'll take them any way we can get them. You're spitting and turning up there. Need to get it set on automatic speed, but I hadn't done that yet. Nice little blue back here, co-fishing in the fall, catching them on chicken. Man, I'm losing track of how many fish I've even caught today. This is beautiful, beautiful fishing. A couple of more tips for you in the fall. Don't be afraid of the bank. Don't be afraid of fishing near the bank. We've had multiple reports from people uh, in my area that are catching fish right on the bank. Uh, even during the day. Better in low light conditions. Another piece of advice and tip is do fish early if you're gonna be doing that. I think your odds are better. But don't forget that bank, man. There's fish all up and down through. I think vary your baits this time of the year. Uh, you know, there are times of the year when I say go big bait. Uh, it's big bait time, catching big fish. There's times when I say downsize your baits. I mix them up. I've got some bigger pieces of cut bait out there right now, and I've got some very small pieces of chicken. These fish are feeding on all kinds of stuff, and uh, you kind of want to be prepared to give them whatever their stomach is desiring. Not all fish want to eat massive chunks of bait. Uh, you know, if you only want to target big fish and totally eliminate small fish, you can do that. But, uh, you know, I, this is a good time to mix up your bait sizes. And uh, bottom line is get out and fish. Uh, like I've said countless times, the more time you put on the water, the better your odds are of catching fish.